Yeah, we're going to go back in time where that video was shot. That's about the time it was shot. It was 8 o'clock. You can see all the dark blue here. That's indicating snow. Notice how it doesn't last very long, though. Now we're going to be dealing with rain moving into the area. It's kind of pushing up towards us and pushing south at the same time. So we're done with the snow. If you wanted a snow day, you may have a delay. Make sure you watch the bottom of your screen here uh, for any delays in the morning hours. But as you can see, that snow is gone. Warmer temperatures, that's the culprit, changing that snow over to rain as we take away the all the different colors here on uh, the snow and the, the mixed precipitation. It's all rain right now as you take a live look at Doppler radar. A little bit of heavier rain making its way right through Austin Town right now, pushing in towards Youngstown and Boardman and over towards Struthers there. Just made, made that shower just made its way out of Ellsworth there. So a decent little rain shower to go along with our snow showers that we had earlier. Jumping across the state line, 37 degrees right now in Sharon. Winds coming out of the south at 11. That's what's raising these temperatures. In fact, we've been seeing uh, temperatures rising at a degree or two every hour. Still feels like below freezing but the actual temperatures are above freezing, and this is not what you, you would expect. You would expect those temperatures to fall as that snow system makes its way through, but we are seeing it changing over to rain with those southerly winds still bringing us fairly mild temperatures. Now, tomorrow night, that's when everything is going to refreeze, but until then, you can notice temperatures in the mid and even upper 30s, winds coming out of the south providing those warmer temperatures. Notice our hour-by-hour hour model right on target with that. Not only the winds coming out of the south, but the temperatures in the 30s. Getting into the 40s, when? 4.30 in the morning. Still going to be a little bit breezy in the morning, but the rain showers start to taper off 9, 10 o'clock. Remember, they're pushing down towards the south. As we go through the day on Monday, or the rest of the day on Monday, mostly cloudy skies, now we're starting to see the winds coming out of the north. What does that do? Well, cooler air coming across the lakes. And notice what happens here as we get into the early hours of Tuesday morning. Temperatures below freezing. We get that refreeze. Our model wants to bring us a little bit in the way of snow as we go through the morning hours on Tuesday before clearing out for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So take a look at your forecast for tonight. 36 is the low, but we're going to continue to see those numbers rising. Snow ends, cloudy breeze with rain showers, and the temperatures just rising from the mid 30s to the low 40s for Monday morning. Morning rain showers will give way to mostly cloudy skies as we head through your day. Now we'll take a look at your next seven days. 40 degrees on Tuesday, but it'll be mostly cloudy. And then another system starts to push towards us on Wednesday, late in the day into the evening hours. It sounds like we have a skipping CD or a broken record here. A little bit of rain snow mix. And notice temperatures above freezing, below freezing, back up above freezing, and then very cold air settling in for Valentine's Day. I have only 25. That's well below normal. And then looking at a Another round of rain showers for the second half of the upcoming 